When it comes to presidential transportation, the United States Secret Service doesn't hold back. The US president's vehicle and motorcade are nothing short of a sight to behold, with a long history of security and innovation. While the limo may not have golden cup holders or diamond seat buckles, the US taxpayers have certainly paid a hefty price for each presidential trip. So, let's dive into the secret features of the beast, the presidential limousine, and explore what makes it so special. The Beast With two dead presidents and several more on the brink, the Secret Service finally decided that the president's life was actually valuable. Thus, they invested in a much more secure vehicle to transport the president. Well, actually, anything's better than the roofless car in which Kennedy was shot. But with the Beast, the Secret Service actually managed to assure the president's safety. The Beast, also known as Cadillac One, is an 18-foot tank on wheels. It's not your average Cadillac. It's a moving fortress with James Bond-style defensive capabilities. Its history dates back several decades. The development of the presidential limousine began in the early 20th century, with the first specially designed vehicle for the president being commissioned in 1939 for President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Since then, each president has had their own unique version of the beast. Over the years, advancements in technology and increased security concerns have led to the continuous improvement and modification of the president's limousine. The Beast has evolved to incorporate state-of-the-art defensive features and cutting-edge technologies to ensure the safety of the President during travel. The Beast has undergone significant upgrades and improvements with each new administration. It is constantly refined to adapt to changing security threats and incorporate the latest technological and defense systems advancements. Today's beast is nothing short of a bunker on wheels. But as long as the Secret Service doesn't get a new dead president on their resume, everything is game. Though with Biden outside threats and nothing compared to the danger of time itself, the beast is ready to take on everything else. The Beast's Defenses The Beast, also known as the United States Presidential State Car, has a rich history that dates back several decades. It is the official vehicle used to transport the President of the United States and is designed to provide maximum security and protection. While the specific details of each iteration of the Beast are highly classified, some information about its history and previous versions have been made public. For starters, the vehicle is heavily armored, weighing between 15,000 and 20,000 pounds. Its body is made of 8-inch armor plating, providing maximum protection to the president. The windows are 5 inches thick and can deflect a 44 caliber magnum bullet. They are also coated to resist fragmentation and shattering upon impact. This ensures that even if the attack were to occur, the president would stay out of harm's way. The Beast is virtually impenetrable, ensuring the safety of its occupants in the face of any threat. In other words, the Beast makes the Hulk look like a delicate flower. The Beast is equipped with advanced technologies and countermeasures to further enhance its defensive capabilities. These include smoke screens, which can be deployed to obscure visibility and disorient potential attackers. The Beast doesn't just rely on smoke screens. It's got tear gas dispensers that can make even the toughest bad guys cry like babies. But defense is just the beginning. When it comes to the offensive, this magnificent car has a lot more to offer. The Beast's Offensive Capabilities The Beast is not just a fancy armored limousine. It's a full-blown mobile warfare machine. Move over, Batmobile. The Beast has an arsenal of high-tech weaponry hidden beneath its sleek exterior. We're talking about rocket launchers, miniguns, and maybe even a hidden compartment that unleashes a swarm of robotic bees. Okay, perhaps not that last one, but a spy can dream, right? And who needs a James Bond car without a few surprises? The Beast's doors are rumored to have some electrifying tricks up their armored sleeves. Imagine an attacker trying to grab the door handle, only to receive a shocking surprise that would make Pikachu proud. It's like a real-life game of Operation, where touching the wrong spot comes with a shocking consequence. 
Along with the more high-end technology, the Beast is also equipped with some old-fashioned night vision goggles, cannons, machine guns, and shotguns. It's like the President is going to war every time he leaves the White House. The Beast's special features. Knowing who's inside the car, it's not a surprise that the Beast has some additional special features that make it the moving bunker we know and love. And just like a bunker, the car can be hermetically sealed. This aims to protect the Commander-in-Chief from chemical and bio-attacks. After all, when the entire population turns into zombies, it's good to have a leader who thinks with his brain and not about brains. If the James Bond feel of this car is not enough, the Beast is equipped with an oil slick feature. Yes, you heard that right. The Beast can lay down an oil slick, just like in those classic spy movies. So, imagine a scenario where some nefarious villains are chasing the President's car, and with the push of a button, the road behind the Beast turns into a slippery mess. Good luck catching up now, you rapscallion. But wait, there's more. The Beast has a secret stash of the President's blood type on board. Yes, you heard that right. It's like a mobile blood bank. Just in case the President needs an emergency transfusion. Who know the Beast was also a part-time vampire? Or does Biden enjoy a cup of fresh blood with his PB&J? This would certainly explain his damn good looks at the age of 340. But I'll leave this conspiracy to the professionals. Fox News, you're up. Regardless of all its special features, the Beast is still a high-class, ultra-luxurious limousine. The Beast's interior. The Beast is more than just a mere car. And this ain't your average Uber ride. It's more like a high-tech fortress on wheels, where luxury and security go hand in hand. The moment you step through the heavily armored doors of the Beast, you're greeted by an interior that screams sophistication. Plush leather seats, reminiscent of those found in first-class airline cabins, envelop you in comfort. You'd think you were in a high-end luxury sedan if it weren't for the subtle details that remind you that this is no ordinary car. The spacious cabin is like a mini oval office on the move. A sleek wooden desk with a built-in computer is at the president's disposal, perfect for signing important documents or playing Solaris. The desk is equipped with a secure communication system, ensuring that the leader of the free world can stay in touch with advisors and world leaders, all while on the go. And speaking of communication, the beast takes staying connected to a whole new level. The vehicle is a rolling communication hub with state-of-the-art technology that allows the president to communicate with anyone, anywhere, at any time. It's like having a high-tech command center at your fingertips, ready to tackle any crisis that comes the president's way. Well, there aren't any golden chandeliers, go-go dancer cages, and champagne fountains inside. But let's not forget, this is a security measure, not a Vegas party limo. And as a security detail, naturally, the beast is not alone on the road. The Motorcade. It is part of a meticulously planned and executed motorcade. With over 50 vehicles and 100 personnel, it is the world's second most tightly secured means of transportation, second only to Putin's route to work. The motorcade is a sight to behold, with each vehicle and personnel playing a specific role in ensuring the president's safety. The motorcade's formation is a well-choreographed defensive strategy. It includes a lead car, motorcycles that clear the route, patrol cars, a hazardous materials mitigation unit, a moving communication center, and an ambulance, among others. At the core of the motorcade is the secure package, which houses the president. This package is an autonomous group of cars that can detach from the motorcade if needed and escort the president to safety. As the President's limousine, the Beast plays a crucial role in the secure package, providing maximum protection to the Commander-in-Chief. The best part is that there are actually two identical limousines, both on the road at the same time. They are exact duplicates. From interior and exterior to plate numbers, they constantly change places in the heart of the motorcade, so no one would know exactly where the President is. This is especially handy when the president is traveling abroad. The Beast Abroad Getting the same level of security everywhere in the world 
is practically impossible. So the Secret Service goes for the next best thing. They actually transport the entire motorcade wherever the President goes. The Secret Service uses a Boeing C-17 Globemaster cargo plane. This flying behemoth costs around $340 million without the added defense systems. Since the President is flying on another aircraft, Air Force One, the Globemaster is actually nothing special when it comes to comfort. It's a strict cargo plane, carrying the most spectacular parade anyone can see. While the Beast and the entire motorcade are impressive, it's important to note that all these security measures and luxury come at a cost. Each presidential trip costs a significant amount, with an average of $2,614 per minute on the road. The American taxpayers foot the bill for the president's comfort and safety. That's, however, just the start. As with anything else, the beast has its problems. The beast imperfections. Of course, even the beast has its imperfections. The heavy armor and advanced features come with a hefty price tag. The car alone costs around $1.6 million, and it must be changed every 10 years to keep up with modern security standards. Moreover, the vehicle's weight and security measures limit its speed and maneuverability. So, the beast doesn't exactly have the best gas mileage. Rumor has it that it guzzles fuel like a college student chugging energy drinks during finals week. But hey, when you're the president, fuel efficiency might not be your top priority. Staying safe and looking presidential are. And at least we can have some solace in the fact that Biden hasn't ordered a private road just for himself, as his Russian colleague has done. Care to learn more about Putin's insane security? Just click on the video to your left.